This is an example of using the Quandle Excel add-in to create a data dashboard. So let's create a dashboard showing the performance of all the stocks in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And to do that, you have to start with a list of those stocks. And that list is available on Quandle.com. If you go to Quandle.com slash resources slash useful lists, you'll see a whole bunch of um, ticker lists for various subjects, including stock index constituents. So let's download the list of the tickers from the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And let's open up that file. As you can see, the file comes with uh, three fields. There's the stock ticker, there's the Quandle code, and of course, there's the name of the company. And let's just um, open it out a little bit. Now, these Quandle data sets, of course, come in open, high, low, close format. And I'm only interested in the closing prices. That is to say, I'm only interested in column four. So let's only sp let's specify column four. And the way to do that is by appending slash four to the Quandle code, like so. Um, let's just copy that all the way down. And just to make it clear what these are, I'm going to write Quandle code as the column header. Great. And I'm going to highlight these in yellow because these are going to be the inputs to my uh, Quandle Excel download function. So let's select all these Quandle codes. Now I go to the Quandle menu and I click on Advanced Download. And I'm interested in the daily percentage changes from yesterday. So I just want one, um, one row of observations, so that's one day. And I want daily data, and I do want percent changes. So I set up all these parameters, and I click Download. And it's going to take a few seconds, because there's, after all, 30 different queries that need to be done. But there you go. So now I've got, right here, I've got um, the change in the pr price, the closing price, for each of these tickers on this date. And now it's just a question of arranging and formatting the output so that it's kind of friendly and useful. So let's start by making a ranking um, from 1 to 30. So we'll just copy those all the way down. Then we can use the large function to identify um, which are the biggest movers in that range. And we'll copy that all the way down. Um, we want to format it nicely, so let's uh, convert them to percentages. And we'll do a little v lookup so that we can find the um, the company that corresponds to each uh, to each percentage change. And actually, for to do that, I have to do this first. Let's just insert a column here and copy the company name over from here. Okay, let's go back and do our VLOOKUP again. So VLOOKUP of the number, and this is our table. And it's column two. And there you go. It looks like JP Morgan Chase was the best performing stock yesterday. And down here, Pfizer and GE were the worst performing stocks. We can actually make that a little prettier by using doing uh, conditional formatting and choose a color scale. And just so that we can see everything, I'm going to minimize a little bit. And there you have it. Um, if you're looking for daily percentage changes as of this date, this was the way each stock performed. Now, if I were to come in tomorrow morning and simply highlight all these cells again and press Advanced Download one more time, I would get tomorrow's percent changes. Supposing I don't want daily changes, maybe I want monthly changes. All I have to do is change the frequency to monthly, click on Download, and there, these are the best performing stocks of the last month. Intel is at the top of the list now, and it looks like Boeing is at the bottom. 
and uh, you know so there are many many variations that I can call upon I can do daily weekly monthly annual I can look at percent changes or absolute changes um, I can I don't have to look at prices of course I can look at trading volume or in the case of um, futures I might look at open interest um, so there are a whole bunch of different indicators but I can see how they change on a day-to-day -day basis using this kind of dynamic dashboard which is powered by the Quandle Excel add-in and uh, Quandle bulk download. So this model is really um, easy to implement and it's, it's pretty straightforward.